Good morning, students. Welcome to all four e-learning classes. This is zoology subject, chapter excretory products and their elimination, session thirteen. Topic is mixed urine and urine urine composition. Mixed urine in the sense the process of urination. Generally, the urinary bladder, which is filled with the urine. once it get contract it uh, sends out the urine to the outside expelling of the urine to the outside is what name it to be the mix urination so we discussed uh, the structure of kidney structure of nephron and the how urine formation takes place that is involving the glomerular filtration selective reabsorption tubular secretion next uh, the mechanism of concentrate urine that is how the concentrated urine is formed we discussed which involve the counter current mechanism then has osmo regulation also we have seen now the hypertonic urine that is formed in the nephron is uh, that is at the collecting duct the hypertonic urine that is formed leading into all the collecting ducts lead into the balleny duct and the balleny duct lead into the renal papillae that is the tip of the medullary pyramids renal papillae lead into the calyces minor major calyces then into the renal pelvis renal pelvis into ureter ureter into urinary bladder this is the structure of the urinary bladder urinary bladder is a pear shaped structure highly muscular and uh, it is uh, the part where the urine is temporarily stored we have discussed that it is highly muscular and uh, the muscles that are present in it are in the wall of the urinary bladder it is with the detrusor muscles besides that the smooth muscles the smooth muscles uh, that are uh, whatever results in the internal sphincter that is look at here this is a uh, internal sphincter whereas this is the external sphincter look at here the internal sphincter generally the detrusor muscles are the muscles present in the wall of the urinary bladder and uh, these are also the smooth muscles whereas the internal sphincter internal sphincter are also present at the neck of the urinary bladder and one more is present name it to be the external sphincter the external sphincter is skeletal muscles made which means internal sphincter is of smooth muscles whereas external sphincter is made up of the skeletal muscle and uh, through urethra the urine is sent out the process of expelling uh, the urine to the outside the process of sending out the acidic urine to the outside is what name it to be the mix urination generally the urinary bladder at its neck uh, is with the stretch receptors which are what uh, with uh, the sensory stimulus which are with the nerves these uh, stretch receptor give the signal to the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system now we'll discuss uh, how the what are the nerve supply to the urinary bladder so the process of sending out a uh, urine to the outside is uh, influenced by the nerve supply that is neurons that is the two systems name it to be the sympathetic nervous system and uh, parasympathetic nervous system recall your memory we discussed uh, in the regulation activity of uh, the excretion where sympathetic and parasympathetic look at here the sympathetic nervous system is of the inhibit the 
emptying of the urinary bladder what do you mean by inhibition of uh, the emptying of the urinary bladder nothing but the filling of the urinary bladder is it clear inhibiting emptying of the urinary bladder in the sense the process in which uh, the urinary bladder is filled inhibition of the emptying of the urinary bladder means it is opposite to nothing but the emptying means filling that's the reason why sympathetic nervous system is which uh, fills the urinary bladder with the urine that is the stimulation from sympathetic nervous system cause uh, the filling of the urine in the urinary bladder urinary bladder filled with the urine which is uh, by means of the sympathetic nervous system stimulus at the same time parasympathetic nervous system the parasympathetic nervous system is responsible for emptying of uh, the urinary bladder that's what it is name it to be the nerve of the system which includes the parasympathetic nervous system include the parasympathetic nerve such is name it to be the nerve of emptying whereas this is a nerve of the filling right now let's see diagrammatically we are showing this is the urinary bladder which is with the detrusor muscles and uh, internal sphincter external sphincter this is the urethra passes and uh, the internal and uh, the detrusor muscles are innervated by sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system look at here these are the nerves of uh, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic to the detrusor muscles and internal sphincter nerve supply to the urinary bladder involve sympathetic parasympathetic as well as somatic nervous system basically the peripheral nervous system is of divided into two types this somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system somatic nervous system is of that this all information we are about to discuss in the topic to come that is in the nervous system nervous system is central nervous system peripheral nervous system categorization the central nervous system include brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system includes the autonomic nervous system as well as uh, the somatic nervous system somatic nervous system is a voluntary nervous system autonomic nervous system is the involuntary this autonomic nervous system again uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic sympathetic and parasympathetic are antagonistic to each other we have discussed earlier that is the gastric movements are inhibited and increased which is opposite function heart beat is increased by sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system decreases blood pressure is increased by sympathetic and decreased by parasympathetic this is how here also the sympathetic nervous system responsible for filling of the urinary bladder with the urine whereas parasympathetic nervous system inhibits in the sense uh, it is uh, the emptying one is for filling one is for emptying is this opposite function yes that's the reason why the sympathetic and the parasympathetic are antagonistic with each other opposite with each other in functioning how let's we see the sympathetic nervous system which include the sympathetic neurons innervate into the detrusor muscles as well as the internal sphincter urinary sphincter and the parasympathetic nervous system also innervate into detrusor muscles as well as internal sphincter yes now the sympathetic nervous system causes uh, the contract the case with the uh, one thing let me clear if uh, the balloon balloon is the one when you apply air in it uh, what do you find it is what distensible is it right yes the same thing uh, we find here when uh, the 
when you press the wall of the balloon the air is sent out the same application we see here which means uh, the sympathetic nervous system cause the what is called uh, the urinary bladder wall and uh, the internal urinary bladder wall the nerve supply of the sympathetic nervous system to the detrusor muscles causes the relaxation of the detrusor muscles relaxation of the detrusor muscles cause the dilation of the wall of the urinary bladder at the same time the sympathetic nervous system sympathetic nerve send the signal to the internal sphincter which causes the contraction of the internal sphincter so look at here here the internal sphincter contract and the detrusor muscles relax which means the urine go on filling in the urine go on filling in the urinary bladder right or not yes the relaxation of the detrusor muscles causes the dilation of the urinary bladder at the same time the nerve supply by sympathetic nervous system causes the contraction of the internal sphincter so here it is closer it is dilated so urine go on filling in the urinary bladder next point the parasympathetic nervous system from which the parasympathetic nerves innervate into detrusor muscles as well as the internal sphincter right and uh, the parasympathetic nerves give the signal to the contraction of the detrusor muscles as well as uh, the relaxation of the internal sphincter i repeat the signal from the parasympathetic nervous system causes the contraction of the detrusor muscle when uh, the urinary bladder wall constrict so pressure builds up here naturally and uh, simultaneously the sim the signal from the parasympathetic nervous system causes the relaxation of the internal sphincter which means it get relaxed so urine start moving is it right yes naturally and uh, one more point uh, you need to discuss that uh, the nerve supply of the somatic nervous system also there which is the name it to be with the nerves name it to be the pudendal nerve i repeat pudendal pudendal nerve or it is name it to be the somatic nerve somatic nerve somatic nerve and uh, generally the external sphincter is a uh, set to be the made up of skeletal muscles skeletal muscles skeletal muscles and uh, it is the result of the tonic contraction of tonic contraction tonic contraction of skeletal muscle fiber forms the external sphincter not to confuse let me clear you the tonic contraction of skeletal muscle fibers forms the external sphincter now you raise a doubt what do you mean by the con tonic contraction tonic contraction in the sense uh, the sustained contraction which may vary from a uh, few that is uh, it may last few hours to for a long time few minutes to long time it remains sustained contraction it is uh, up to certain uh, more number of the hours which means it remains in a contraction which means uh, the pudendal nerve always causes the sustained contraction of uh, the skeletal muscles uh, that results in a external sphincter which means always external sphincter is in a contractile condition contractile condition contractile condition right 
yes and uh, during the time when the parasympathetic nervous system gives the signal to the detrusor muscles for contraction and the internal sphincter for relaxation now this pudendal nerve from the signal from uh, the brain it is inhibited it is inhibited what do you mean by inhibited it does not uh, results in the contraction when it is inhibited pudendal nerve signal is inhibited it remains in a relaxed state is it right so when it is in a relaxed state already the urinary bladder wall is uh, contracted internal sphincter relaxed the external sphincter from the pudendal nerve there is no signal that is it is inhibited from contraction means it is relaxed the signal from the pudendal nerve is in a relaxed state so the urine is expelled out this is about name it to be the mixed urination or urination the point to remember it is that the somatic nerve are forming the external sphincter is it right which is always in a contractile condition but uh, during the time it is relaxed which means it is a voluntary response a voluntary response that's the reason why we say the mixed urination is a voluntary process that is what mixed urination and urination mixed urination or else urination this is what we see now we'll go for the composition of the urine generally the urine is with the with the physical properties and the chemical properties let's see what are its uh, components generally the urine uh, which is a uh, acidic slightly acidic in nature with the ph value with the ph value 6 and it is the yellow colored slightly acidic 6 is nothing but uh, less than 7 which is a uh, slightly acidic itself it is a yellow colored slightly acidic urine generally the yellow color for uh, the urine is because of uh, the urochrome urochrome what do you mean by urochrome urochrome is a breakdown product of uh, the hemoglobin of worn out rbc the rbcs have a life span of 120 days so once their uh, life span is uh, completed uh, they are break down that is the hemoglobin is the component respiratory pigment of the rbc which is break down and results in bilirubin biliverdin and also urochrome this urochrome give color to the urine as a yellow color and generally what we eat and uh, what we drink is what reflected uh, in the urine the yellow color is because of the urochrome and uh, if one takes uh, more fruits and vegetables definitely the it is going to be affecting uh, the urine color and the diet even for suppose if uh, the one is taking a more amount of the proteins let me clear you one point if one is taking a more protein content we have discussed that is carbohydrates and fats are what uh, reserved uh, food but protein is not it is immediately have to be excreted so the protein which is uh, with the amine uh, as a one of other group so immediately deamination takes place immediately the urea is synthesized so if one is with the more protein content food definitely the urea synthesis is more and urea is a uh, present reflected in the urine so the food and the vegetables that fruit that we take uh, is what uh, affecting the urine uh, composition even next uh, apart from that generally the 
urine with uh, the 96 percentage the composition of uh, the urine if we see 96 percentage is a uh, water the composition of the urine uh, we see those are the physical properties and uh, the 96 percentage water 2 percentage is urea and 2 percentage is of uh, the other substances that is as uh, when compared with uh, the other urea amount is more that's what we are ureotelic and that to hypertonic ureotelic we are and uh, there are uh, certain substances which affect the urination that uh, that are what name it to be the diuretics 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 in the sense the substances that uh, cause the diuresis diuresis means elimination of uh, the urine to the outside frequently we have already discussed that uh, daily 1.5 to 1.8 liters of a uh, urine is excreted per day right and uh, this is influenced by the diuretics for suppose that the diuretics are said to be the tea coffee and uh, tea coffee and uh, what is called alcohol tea coffee and alcohol those who take uh, frequently the alcohol alcohol effect is also there in the urine that is those who take alcohol alcohol decreases the level of adh when adh is decreased what is the role played by adh vasopressin vasopressin is for water reabsorption so alcohol causes the decrease in the adh when one takes the alcohol one enters into what is called a the sedation or else sleep so the hypothalamus is inactivated so adh secreted low so water reabsorption does not takes place that's the reason why alcohol affect the adh hormone and uh, whose levels come down so water reabsorption does not takes place so frequency of uh, the urination and dehydration takes place that's the reason why alcohol causes the dehydration so that's the reason why tea coffee and alcohol have the same effects of urination that's what they are what diuretics that causes the urination so per day 1.5 liters to 1.8 liter of the water per day urine is eliminated but due to the defect defect of the adh we have discussed diabetes insipidus where 20 liters of the urination takes place per day right let's see further information generally the urine uh, composition is a uh, 6 ph value and a uh, eurochrome what give color yellow color and uh, 96 percent water 2 percent of urea 2 percent of other substances and uh, per day it is about 25 to 30 grams of uh, urea is a uh, send out per day 25 to 30 grams of urea per day and uh, the other components organic are amino acids creatine creatine and ammonia uric acid urea and uh, inorganic includes the salts are present hormones are also present but uh, no time glucose is present in the urea keep in mind why glucose is a when its levels are increasing in the blood they come back to the urine and it is sent out that indicates the glucosuria and the ketonuria that is if glucose levels increase it is mainly because of the deficiency of insulin is it right or not draw more attention we are not discussing something uh, away from our topic but it is a topic itself glucose never be in the normal condition glucose not present in the urine why glucose is an essential component it is a high threshold substance which go on absorbed into the 
blood that is till their level become normal since more and more utilization of the glucose are taking place so the glucose normally does not uh, reach into the urine if the insulin deficiency is there insulin function is to convert the glucose into glycogen decrease the glucose level if this is deficient glucose levels increase that causes the glycosuria glycosuria and also a condition name it to be the ketonuria there are uh, two indicatives we see one is name it to be the glycosuria and uh, ketonuria 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 basically the ketone bodies if increased that condition is name it to be the ketonuria if the glucose levels increase name it to be the glycosuria these are the indicatives of diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus melly refers to sweet that is as more glucose levels are increased uh, that is nothing but a diabetes mellitus so if the excessive glucose are there that is glycosuria and ketone if glucose levels are increased normally it does not present but its a levels increase uh, denotes the glycosuria and ketone bodies ketonuria these are the indicatives of a diabetes mellitus if the urea levels increase in blood not in the urea present is a normal in the urine but if the urea levels increase in the blood which is uh, leading to uremia it is not uh, however it is a disorder but why we are discussing is a composition that is if abnormalities are there in the urine if glucose levels increase in the urine glycosuria ketone bodies ketonuria if uh, excessive urea increase which is leading to uremia if uh, the blood if it is eliminated through the urine hematuria if albumin increases in the urine albuminuria if hemoglobin increases hemoglobin globinuria these are all what abnormalities in the urine so the mixuration and the urine mixuration is the process of elimination of the urine to the outside it is a voluntary process you have to keep in mind why until and unless the ext external sphincter relax the urination does not takes place it is by voluntary nerve name it to be the pudendal nerve or somatic nerve basically the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems are innervated into the detrusor muscles as well as internal sphincter the sympathetic nerve is a nerve of filling filling of urine in the urinary bladder the detrusor muscles are present in the urinary bladder or relaxed whereas the internal sphincter is contract by sympathetic so urine get filled and the parasympathetic nervous system causes the contraction of the detrusor muscles and the relaxation of the internal sphincter this causes the constriction of the urinary bladder so urine start moving then the somatic nervous system soma which have the somatic nerve which causes the skeletal muscles contraction for a long period and results in the external sphincter so always external sphincter is in a contractile condition during the mixuration time it is inhibited so external sphincter rel relaxed so urine is sent out which is what name it to be the mixuration urine composition with the ph 6 it is slightly acidic and yellow color due to eurochrome eurochrome is a breakdown product of the hemoglobin and uh, the it is also with the 96% of water 2% of urea as 
the urea content is more so it is ureotelic and that two hypertonic urine and two percent other include even uh, certain times uh, some individual urine uh, is uh, restricted it is not flow and later it is released which give a bad smell of ammonia the due reason is when the urine is stored for more period bacterial decomposition causes it into form ammonia that's what the bad smell what it gets next uh, daily 25 to 30 grams of urea is excreted per day and certain times uh, the tea coffee and alcohol influence the excessive ur urination that's what name it to be the diuretics okay and uh, if certain times generally the glucose uh, normally does not present in the urine so if this level C is increased which is referred to as a uh, glycosuria and if uh, ketone bodies are increasing ketonuria these are the indicatives of diabetes mellitus if uh, the this is due to the deficiency of the defect in the insulin certain times uh, even we see daily 1.5 liters of uh, the urine is excreted that is the 99 percent of uh, the fluids that is water is absorbed from the urine that is urine that is formed but this is because of the ADH antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin if that is defective so reabsorption of water does not takes place so excess amount of water is sent out that is excess amount of the urination takes place which is limited to the diabetes insipidus thank you